Sorry, it's been so long since my last update. I know I said I would try to finish this this week, but a lot's gone on this week. I had a neighbor that was in an accident. Um, without going into any details, she's she had to go to the hospital with a broken pelvis and things like that. And between that and other things that I had going on, I just didn't have time to get out here until today. And even today I had to come out in the evening because I was busy during the day. So anyway... As you can see on this end of the table, I have the chain on, which I did not have done before. And if I come and show you that it's tensioned quite well, and I'll show you how I did that in a minute. And I had a bunch of other options that I was going to do, but I didn't like any of my options, and that's another reason I took so long. This back chain, it still looks a little loose, but that's just because I do not have that elevator tightened down, and I'll show you why in a second. But when I do tighten that elevator down, the tension is like this. So um, I'll show you what I did. I had to take this elevator off. And I ended up cutting the welds and separating the elevator from the support bracket. And then, let me come over to the front. I did some elongated holes in here. And I ended up putting a bolt back here. And I welded the bolt on even with the head um, for a couple of reasons. The main one being that I didn't want the weld like if I were to just put a piece of all thread there, I didn't want the weld to interfere and prevent this from um, not being level. So I wanted to do that and it helped add some of the space that I needed to tension this chain. And as you can see, in addition, I had to add a couple of washers there too in order to tension it properly. It's kind of a hack job, but it's a lot better option than trying to put in you know, a bunch of sprockets and bearings and things to try to take up this tension. So it works for what I'm doing. Um, and then I can, uh, tension, well, it's tension currently. I took a link out of the other chain. That's why it's so far over this way. And then I, uh, am able to tension this and tighten it down. And trust me when I say that this is actually going to be tighter than this once I lock down that elevator down there. So heater's kicking on. That's what that noise is. So coming over here, hack job that I had to do. If you look at this elevator, you notice that coupling nut there. Um, I ended up cutting that because I needed to I needed to shorten this. I, I used to have the uh, sprocket sit about an inch and a quarter lower. I wanted the chain to go under this area. But because I used half inch rod, um, which you will not want to do, you'll want to use maybe something like three quarter inch if you can at least five eighths, but I'd go like three quarter inch or maybe even inch. But the bearings that I found didn't allow for that. So on this table, it's okay, but um, this flex too much that far out, just a couple inches down. So I ended up cutting about an inch and five eighths off, raise this up so that the bushing can support the rod here without it flexing. And I ended up having to put these coupling nuts in here too. Um, so I didn't end up having to rebuild the whole elevator or at least re replacing the all thread, which would be a waste. I had to do the same thing on this side, however, the, the bushing support that I had right here was fixed. And I made this elevator adjustable. Sorry about all the cables in the way. You can see I elongated the hole here. If I have to, I'll elongate it even further this direction, but um, this is why this elevator isn't tightened down, is because I was going to put this other chain on and tighten everything up except the support bracket also needs to be adjustable because um, if I adjust that in and out I previously then I would have been about right here and it's just too much binding and everything and so I'll come up with a better solution as far as a, a bushing holder down here so I made this elevator adjustable I made the other elevator on the opposite corner adjustable both of these elevators are the ones that have two sprockets on them each and that allows me to adjust the chains I had to adjust the chains because I was going to uh, get a video of me raising the elevator and lower, lowering it, at least the elevators without having anything attached to it. But when I went to test it the other day, every single chain came off, but every single chain was also loose. Um, when I say every single chain, this one wasn't on, but the other chains were. So they all fell off and that was frustrating. And so I knew I had to tension it and I didn't like any of my solutions and that's why I took as long as I did to get the, get this update to you. So I don't know if I 
I doubt I'll create that bracket tonight for the bushing support on that other elevator. I'll probably do that on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. That's the next time slot I have somewhere in there. And I'll provide you another update then. Maybe I can even get a picture of the elevators going up and down, assuming that I don't have any problems with the chains falling off again.